Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ETS2 Trucker for Hire. In this episode, we'll still be driving in Ireland. Uh, we'll be having a shorter journey than usual, but I really want to cover, wanted to cover all the places. So we'll be going from Dublin all the way down here and discovering Limerick. So in the previous episode, I think we went from Wexford, passed through Dublin and went to Galway. This time, it's... Uh, Dublin to Limerick and then maybe after that we can go Limerick north to Sligo or is it Sligo to uh, the rest of Northern Ireland in here but yeah in this part I think this is going to be a nice pretty road pretty chill road it looks like but maybe we can go around this place first and there and then go back that looks good so we can unlock these two discoverables and unlock the city itself right so we'll be uh, driving with a Mercedes new actress again with DRLs in front pretty nice skin looks like a real company Rabin pretty nice sound as well indeed there is a catch though there is a huge catch right there in the middle <laughs> And uh, what sign is that? Hmm. Not sure what sign that is, that yellow thing. Maybe that's like visit a service center because the truck is 20% damaged. So we'll have to stop by a repair shop somewhere. I definitely don't want to drive like this. So we'll have to stop probably there. Also, I got a comment saying that uh, the roads in Dublin are not accurate. I'm not really sure what that meant. That he said something to do with the roads are all one way. Does he mean the roads are all one way in Dublin and in here it's not? Maybe that's how it is. But if you have more information about that, do let me know, right? And we'll be, we are cur currently carrying 20, 20 tons of European... What is that place? I have no clue what that is. I don't have a clue <laughs> how this engine will function is going to work for us though. Uh, thank you for stopping because I'm kind of uh, eating up your lane. Imagine. Went up the curb there a bit but that should be fine. Let me try to keep within the lines here. As always I get confused when I'm driving on the right side of the truck driving on the left side of the road pretty nice trucks also I have been able to update finally my mods so the Jazzy Cat trailer packs and all the mods are updated for 1.28 so I have the latest version I have a pro mods company trailer pack now activated for 1.28 even have I even have the cabin accessories back so that's going to be something that will definitely improve the overall experience at least you won't see those derpy trailers anymore we'll see at least realistic ones from the company maybe I should have rushed there huh instead of stopping way before anyway that's fine yeah it definitely looks different here in Dublin and why am I so far from line here there we go so I'm not sure what a European place is but I am kind of digging the trailer looks legit and I have serious doubts that it's so oh, hey oh sorry okay And you guys told me I am not allowed on these bus lanes. So let's not stay there. Lana Bus. And you guys also told me that uh, in Ireland they do have their local language. I'm not sure what it's called. But it's different from English. Which is why we see those different looking spelling words. And even for the places, they have the local terms for them. A little bit of engine braking. And we should be good to go. Stop. You 
guys. It's my turn. Thank you. So right now, we're going to a repair shop. So we should be moving to the left, I think. Yeah, turning to the left there. Me thinks. Hope this is the right one. I remember going through Dublin in the previous episode of Trucker 4 Hire. Uh, it has a lot of traffic lights, definitely. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Having our truck fixed in a Volvo dealer. Why not? Why not? Right, there we go. Little bit of engine braking again. I am still driving with an automatic transmission. Keeping it real. Keeping it realistic with uh, modern day trucks. European trucks at least. Wow. Just in time. Maybe I can just glide along. <laughs> yeah, I can actually. I can. That's nice. Stop. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Alright, service. Let's repair that 8,000, but we don't have to pay it anywhere. Repairs are covered by your employer. Perfect. At least now we don't have to get bothered by those stinking engine malfunctions. Which is basically what we should have done for every job that we had before instead of just sticking through with the damages which is always going to be a pretty problematic thing I think I'm gonna hit that wall let's try not to hit it I can probably squeeze in here that way yeah it's good And now we turn left, and I think I'll have to manually remove that waypoint, that one. So now we're off we go, onto the motorway. Hmm, going through N7, it's not a major motorway, it seems like. It's a national road, so I'm expecting the lines on the side of the road are broken, instead of solid lines. If anything, you taught me. If I remember anything, you taught me, you taught me at least. Okay, no cars there. Let me eat up this other lane for a bit. There we go. That's nice. Good. Yeah, traffic lights in each and every intersection here in Dublin. Yeah, I think what, what he meant, the one who commented was that yeah, in Dublin it's filled with uh, one-way roads but here as we can see it's all still two-way maybe it's not technically possible or maybe it's uh, not completely accurate that everything is one way maybe there are some two-way roads so we'll see all right okay there we go good Go. Yes, let's proceed. Whew, that's a bit close. I am liking the truck variety here, what I'm seeing. This is all coming from Jazzy Cat's uh, trailer pack, most probably. Yeah, I'm liking the colors in the different setups. You know, I really wish that's possible that the trucks in Jazzy Cat's trailer packs, trailer and cargo packs, are are uh, drivable you know like having those beautiful looking trucks and just driving them just having them pre-configured and just you picking them like that looks good right or even just the paint jobs being available for your own trucks that would be awesome so that's one of the main problems really when i buy a truck it's always a challenge to find a nice paint job i always have a hard time finding them and I, I would ha I, usually I have to settle for some paint job that's not very good looking or I, I spend uh, hours and hours just to find a decent one also if you notice this intersection is kind of weird you don't have lines or anything there's a traffic light here but you don't see like the border lines for the intersection I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate but maybe in here in Dublin at least they have that kind of system Maybe for the smaller intersections, they don't have that. Uh, 
you don't have the paints all over the intersection because in some areas I've noticed that they have those yellow crisscross paint which indicate that it's an intersection it's, and which probably indicate that you shouldn't use, uh, shouldn't stay inside them like this one for example, there's a line at least which borders the end of the road where you should be stopping something like that I do like how they made this though I have no clue if it's remotely similar to Ireland itself, to Dublin itself, but it's pretty legit to me as a guy who has never gone there. Yeah, you guys let me know how accurate it is, right? If you see some if you see some landmarks or something like that, some indicative uh, places that say, oh yeah, that's Dublin definitely kilometers per hour oh yeah for, i forgot we are in the republic of ireland which is south of ireland southern ireland more or less which is basically using the metric system and the using euros as far as you guys have told me there we go entering the motorway as that sign indicates that blue sign that you've just passed we'll see how it looks We've been here before. Seems like we have, but I think we went straight through. Yeah, we went straight through in the previous episode. This time, though, we're looping around, which is going to be a more exciting view. Although, it might not be as. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I must admit. Oh, pop, 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 pop. I think it's, this is the wrong one, though. Yeah, this is the wrong one. As this road is closed, I really have to remove that no boundaries mod. Okay, there you go. Make sure not to hit the trailer. Yeah, looks good. Alright, now this is the one. Okay, perfect, perfect. It's quite interesting why you have these yellow broken lines on the side when you have a wall anyway. It seems kind of redundant to me. I mean, it is, I'm sure it is the end of the road there because there's a wall. <laughs> so, oh crap, and I wanted to take a photo. Maybe we can still take a photo, one sec. In here, in here. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Now, for you guys who are not fans of the photo session, feel free to fast forward. But for those who do like it, oh yeah, that looks amazing. We have to have a, you have to show those curves and those intersections. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I think we have a winner here. Yeah, I think that definitely takes the cake. We can go a bit wider, but that actually removes the details from that road. So let's actually do the opposite and zoom in a bit like that that should show a lot more of the road yes and even if it's raining still very good looking uh, can I take something like this that can also work I love those lines those yellow lines so they're pretty Irish, I would assume, because I don't really see those kind of kinds of uh, paint in other roads in other countries. I think that's pretty unique to Ireland. I, I I don't even know if in Northern Ireland they have something like that. Maybe this is only in the Republic of Ireland. Maybe we'll see. It's kind of strange though, because uh, Republic of Ireland has a bit of a mix. Oh, see on lights. Let's go park lights here. They have a bit of a mix because they use kilometers. So they have the metric system, which is the same with the rest of Europe. In the, like the central Europe or the main island of Europe, however you want to call it. They have, uh, yeah, they have the metric system. They use euros, but they still drive on the left side of the road. Which is pretty different, if I would say. It's like 
It's a mix of the UK system and the European system. That's how I would say it. Oh crap! Oh crap! 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 Okay, the guy isn't breaking at all, bro. What's up? Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is how we see it. We see broken lines because this is a national road, not a motorway. And uh, we should probably see green signs as well, as you guys told me. Although, to be honest, I can't remember if what you told me was... And I think we are in a motorway indeed, M7. Oh, we uh, just entered. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. You guys are spot on. So we entered the motorway. So now we have solid lines. Earlier, a few seconds ago, we were in a national road. Or correct me if I have my terms wrong. So we had the broken yellow lines on the side. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Good, good. I like it. Cool. I think we need our lights now. And maybe <laughs> wipers. Yeah, you guys are probably itching for some wiper action. It is raining after all. Too bad the, the weather turned. It was so sunny a while ago. I thought we would have like a just nah, pretty chill and nice drive here. But it would have to be a bit challenging. But fine, fine. Also, I did remove the railway and uh, the rail and military cargo pack from Jazzicat in the meantime. Um, my main uh, thinking behind that is I wanted to promote more of the... Oh crap, I'm speeding a bit. Let's slow down a little. So I, I wanted to... Uh, uh, how do you say? I wanted to make the double trailers appear more but then I thought um, well doubles only appear in Scandinavia in Germany and, and Finland I think based on what ProMods did so I probably won't see those anyway here if I'm driving in Ireland so maybe I should have enabled the military and rail cargo pack but anyway, that's fine. At least we get these uh, pretty reliable box trailers. Because I, I really like box trailers. Um, they're stable. They're pretty uh, standard. And the designs are more varied. So from time to time, I do like to switch it up. And now I think it's time for the box trailers. Because we've had our fun with the oversized trailers and the, the super heavy duty trailers. So I think it, now it's time for some some more of the basic trailers you know, keep some stability in, in the game and yeah I still want to, to drive uh, tandem trucks mainly I still like that still like that concept not really double trailers but tandems with dollies which is what we did in the stream it would be so great if quick chops would be compatible with that but I doubt any quick chops are I doubt any quick chops are unless you know of a mod which converts all the quick chop trucks into into tandems do let me know if you have anything like that right that would be awesome you know what's better still is if tandems are actually implemented officially by SES that would be cool technically they're there I mean technically it's feasible in terms of the trailer because there's if we, we have double trailers even so that should be a problem but maybe it's the chassis type which is the problem because the chassis needs to be longer there needs to be a, a trailer truck there and I'm not sure in terms of licensing if we have that maybe they have to license different types of uh, trucks instead of just semis having uh, trailer, uh, trailer trucks as well if that's how you call them yeah it would be like the, the best thing ever if that gets officially implemented having more options for trucks that would be so cool so and in case you haven't uh, watched in case you don't watch the main series I have come back from Germany from my trip to Germany I was out last week it was so great um, it's my, it was my first time seeing the autobahn 
and uh, seeing all these different trucks in real life Scania's, Volvo's, Mercedes, DAF's, MEN's I think the only trucks I didn't see were Renault's Iveco, I can't remember if I saw any Iveco, I think I also did, yeah so yeah, maybe it's only the Renault's which I didn't see in Germany but they were so cool, I saw tandems, I saw semis it was a very uh, great experience finally seeing them in real life I really want to take pictures but uh, I was a bit shy I was with my bosses and they might think I am this uh, they might not understand my enthusiasm <laughs> so that can be a bit of a problem wait are we near? that's so fast this, this might be the fastest trip ever Wait a minute, huh? Wait a minute. Let me go and check out the map. Oh, yeah. Why did I see that? Oh, I did see that it's a, it's the N7. All right, all right. So that makes sense. So earlier, you remember I told you guys we were in the national road? It was the N7. So that's green. That's when we saw the broken lines. And after a while, it migrated. It transformed into the to a motorway probably around this area. So that's why we've been driving across the M7 so far. Wow, yeah, this is going to be the shortest episode ever, guys. Maybe we have to look around a bit more. Maybe let's go there. And then let's loop here. And then let's, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let's go there. Loop here. And then go... No, no, no. How do I say? I want to go straight there. Let's make this a bit longer, a bit of a longer journey, right? Let's go probably through here. Don't go that way anymore. There we go. That's the one. That's the one. It's cool. So going through here, circling back. Actually, you don't need to do this. You can just go through that way. Yeah, I think that's better. So we circle it a bit around. Make the episode a bit longer. Right, good. I'm just gliding here, saving up on fuel. Actually, no, I'm I'm in cruise control, aren't I? Hmm. Maybe I should remove my cruise control. No, no, I'll keep it because it seems like the guys in front are a bit of a uh, not not really the fastest. You know what? I might slow down a little here. Just to give them a bit more space. So I have a feeling they'll be stopping any second now. Alright, this is interesting. You can see the map. Ah, uh, okay. You see, we, see, we still see those inverted arrows. I'm not sure if that's been fixed already with before the in the current Pro Mods release. I'm still in the release candidate too, if I remember correctly. They might have fixed those arrows already. But I've been told that those are caused by the caused by a problem in the prefab in the actual junction. I think the junctions are based on normal European roads, something like this. And that's why they are inverted. So they, they still think it's on the right side of the road. You can see the broken lines now on the left again. You can see the signs are in green, so we're in a national highway. You guys are perfect. You guys are spot on. Thanks for letting me know. That's a very good info. Very nice to know. It really helps when you know where you're driving and what, what the signs mean. It doesn't make you think like you're clueless or anything. Which is especially for me that actually sounds different that retarder sound it's pretty strange sorry thought you were exiting somewhere my bad okay hopefully you don't hit that sign just might though Kind of evaded it at the last moment. And where do we exit? I 
think we exit here. There's no car here on the left. Hopefully. Okay, and I'm hoping I'm hoping at the time. I hope that I'm choosing the right exit in here. Seems like it. Yeah, looks like it. Good. Oh crap, one sec. Sorry about that. Uh huh. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. There was a doorbell <laughs> because there was a courier who picked up some documents that I needed. So I'm actually planning on a business trip again. Uh, this time in China, end of September, and I had to apply for a visa. So I had to have some documents picked up for the visa application. I hope it pushes on through just fine. But I'll keep you guys posted for sure. Anyway, that means I'll have to edit this video, and that means I'll have to uh, cut this video and uh, render it for three hours. <laughs> That's what I hate about editing videos. It takes so darn long to, edit, to render. Phew! Lucky. I didn't break enough there. That was my bad. Okay, are we good here? Okay, and we exit in here. There we go. Limerick, finally. Limerick has been discovered. It sounds familiar, but I haven't really heard. What Limerick is famous for? Customer expects delivery very soon. Oh yeah, this is a this is a, an important delivery, so we don't have a lot of leeway. Despite that, we did end up going the long way. So I guess that's why it's complaining. But it's fine. It's fine. We're almost there. Hold your horses. Speaking of Ireland. Did anyone watch that Conor McGregor fight? Conor McGregor and uh, uh, Mayweather fight. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? For an MMA fighter to go head to head with a boxer. And yeah, he lost, but still. It's a good fight, I would say. I mean, if he won, that would have been a big, like, hit against all boxers because that would be like basically saying boxers are nothing compared to MMA fighters that uh, it was a, a matter of technical efficiency I guess it's not that Conor McGregor wasn't good it's just that Mayweather is, has a lot more experience when it comes to boxing and you can see like uh, if you watch the match you can see that at multiple times in the match, McGregor tried to like grapple and do MMA stuff to Mayweather, and he was just kind of uh, <clears throat> um, restraining himself. But his reflexes were still mainly on the MMA background, so he's, he wanted to clinch, he wanted to grapple, he wanted to take him down, and good thing he wasn't. He didn't try to kick him, but. <laughs> <laughs> the reflex was there definitely. Yeah, it was a good match, I would say. It was a very, very good performance on McGregor's part, going head to head with the, like the, the. Hmm, I'm not sure if it would be enough to say it the best boxer, but definitely an undefeated boxer. Anyway, that's all the Irish I know. I'm not even sure where he comes from which part of Ireland he comes from and if it's like Republic of Ireland or Northern part you know I didn't even know there was a division before I had no clue that there was that kind of separation between the two regions now oh, I'm just getting rained at I hope there is enough space on this side I wish can we do anything about it? And yeah, I did overshoot it a lot. But I'm hoping we can correct it somehow. And I just 
steered the wrong way. My bad. Let me try and correct it from this angle. Let's try not to hit the wall, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I think I have to go. I think I have to move forward. This is a quick one. Yep, definitely not. Alright, let's let's do that again. That will keep the episode longer anyway. <laughs> yeah, I should have turned uh, much earlier, I guess. Okay, let's give that enough space. Right with the ring, I need to see where I'm going. Let's try to return as early as we can. Gradually, but correctly. And these lines are our guideline. The white lines at least. That's looking good. Let's try to even it out slowly. Maybe a bit sharper. Then let's even it out. Okay, I might have overshot it a bit. <laughs> it's an understatement, but you can always correct it by going the opposite way and going straight. Straighten out the trailer. Like that. Oh, it's just drained the entire episode, huh? Interesting. Cool. And that should be a okay. I think. There we go. Easy peasy. Perfect. Right, that was a short trip from Dublin to Limerick. Cover that area as well. So we're slowly covering the areas in Ireland. Once we've explored everything here, we'll go and explore some of the new Promod 2.20 areas. Yes. But anyway, we we've we were also read uh, English. We're also doing that for the main series. So if you're interested in seeing more of Promod 2.2. Go and check out the main series, there should be a link below in the video description for that playlist. We have explored Scandinavia, or we are exploring Scandinavia. Have explored the new parts in Norway and we're almost on our way to North Cape. Next episode in the main series will be exploring the North Cape. And then probably the Balkans or some parts in Sweden, we'll see how it goes, right? Anyway, that's gonna be it for now guys, I'm really excited to uh, earn some money in this series, in this Trucker for Hire series. So we can finally get our own car and we can replace this with a pretty nice modded car. If you have any suggestions which one I should get, please comment it down below so I can at least see how much I need to save for. We do have 54k, 54,000 pounds actually. So that might be enough. As much as possible, I don't want to take a loan, but we'll see. Maybe I can plow on through a little. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now guys. I know it's a very short episode, but thank you for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates and I'm looking forward to your comments. Please hit the like button and share to your friends. And uh, yes, let's keep the pro mods hype going and the trucking going. Anyway, clumsy trucking everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.